Alright, so here's the deal. Apparently, in order to evolve Nelson, we actually need this thing's friendship to get up. It's a friendship evolution. At least that, that's what somebody told me, so I'm hoping that's correct. But uh, we just talked to this lady here. We're in Hammerlock, and I grabbed myself the Soothe Bell from her. So this is a hold item uh, that does make it more friendly. So we're going to give that to you, and Nelson is now going to hopefully be our, our better friend. Also, um, one thing to take note of, I do have a bunch of... Uh, I do have a bunch of EXP candies and some rare candies in here, I believe. We have some extra, sm extra small EXP candies, which I haven't used. Let's go ahead and use these on somebody. So Barney and Dumbo at level 41 could definitely use some help. We're just going to let Nelson kind of organically grow. Let's give these to... Let's give all of them to Barney and see how much experience we actually get with these candies. Get a thousand, so... Decent. We also have a medium one. Let's use, let's use that on Barney, too. There you go, friend. Get 3,000 from that, too, so we do grow a level. And uh, we have six more small ones, which might as well just use them all on Barney. You're getting all sorts of candy, buddy. So that gets it to level 43, so now you're up with the rest of the squad. And then also, where are... I thought I had regular rare candies, too. I have these Dynamax candies. Packed with energy. When consumed, it will raise the Dynamax level of a single Pokemon by one. So, that is interesting. I do have three rare candies. And we are going to use those on Dumbo. Let's use all three of them. Get you to level 43. Or 44, I mean. Obviously, quick maths. Trying to learn Iron Head, uh, which could be decent at 80 power. Um, I do think that's actually better in most cases than Heavy Slam. Let's get rid of. Uh, let's just get rid of Stomp. I'm never going to use Stomp anyway, so. We got ourselves Iron Head. Nice. So now the team's looking great. We're all pretty much up there except for Nelson, who just needs a little bit of help. So he's going to hang out there, get a Shell Bell going. I'm pretty sure it still gets the effect, even though it's if, if it's not like in battle. So hopefully at least. Well, time to go ahead and fly back to the destination. We are going to head toward Route 9, so we're heading toward the old flag. So we got to go back to Sir Chester, and it is time to go see what is waiting for us over there. I'm interested to see what we're going to what we're gonna come across. So uh, let's actually switch up the lead here. Chiding is in front. We could go... I kind of want to go Barney. This guy hasn't gotten as much use as I would like. So you know what, Barney? We're putting you there, buddy. Time to hop on the old bicycle. Now let's get some zooms. A little bit laggy there on the old bicycle. I think we go down from here. Yep, we have not been this way yet. What are you guys doing? You're in trouble if your Pokemon gets frozen during a battle. It won't be able to move. Straight up Popsicle. All right, so here we are in Route 9. And this place is looking chilly. So, kind of nice little bridge here. And there's also actually a fishing spot here. Let's try to fish, see if there's something cool. The one, the one uh, water Pokemon I haven't gotten yet is that one Barracuda thing. And that's it! Nope, just kidding, it's a wishy-washy. Damn it. You tricked me, you stupid wishy-washy. <laughs> uh, well, it's cool to see the wishy-washy's back in the game. A pretty cool Pokemon with an interesting gimmick. Gonna, gimmick is going to go ahead and activate that schooling ability. It's level 38, so not a bad little submarine fishy. We're going to run from you, though, because I don't want to catch it. Interesting fishing spot. Also, we have a trainer here. What's happening? Meeting a trainer can only mean battle. What a simple concept. Well, it's good that we got Toxtricity in front, because I'm assuming you're just going to have some fishies for me. Harriet. There's the Barracuda. That's the exact thing I was talking about. It has a really cool, like, propeller tail. I actually really like that thing's design. But unfortunately for you, my fishy friend, you're going to have to take a discharge. Although, never mind. It's actually going to use Dive, which is extremely annoying. It's going to dive in the non-existent water. We're not even battling in the water. You shouldn't be able to use Dive, lady. Freaking cheating. I was going to click Discharge again, which should knock this thing out. Now that we got ourselves the extra levels. Does about half. This thing must be... Must have some pretty decent physical attack, man. That, that hurts. Well, Discharge is going to knock you out. What is next? Some solid experience. Get hurt by some hail. Knocks us down to below half. Ouch. And I did not see what that... What that said. We're just going to... That was a lantern. Well... This is actually not great for us because this thing has a potential volts absorb ability, so we're not going to go for a discharge. Let's just switch right into Dumbo, who can go for a bulldoze. I just have a chance to have either water absorb or volt absorb, uh, which are two great abilities, and it makes Lantern kind of difficult to play against because you never know what it's going to hit you with. Uh, so there's a discharge, going to give me a taste of my own medicine, huh? Okay, and we get fully paralyzed. Or we get paralyzed. So that's, of course, we do. Damn you and your discharge, Dumbo. I'm sorry, buddy. 
Well, let's get a bulldoze. We're a decent amount of levels higher, so we should be all right here. As long as we don't get fully parried, please. Yes, we break through. The bulldoze is gonna knock you out. So down goes the lantern. I love me some lantern, though. R.I.P. my boy Edison. But Harriet has been defeated. The stronger one always wins. How simple. She's, <laughs> she's bummed out, slowly reeling in. There's another fishing spot here. We might as well try again, just to see if there's anything super crazy in here. There's like a, a new ice-type fish or something I haven't seen yet, but I don't, don't believe there is. Let's see what we get this time. Ooh, it's an octillery. Not bad, not bad. Good to know my boy Octillery made it into the game. I think actually we did see a Remorade at some point. But uh, Octillery is here. And we're actually going to discharge you. You're level 42. This thing is a freaking threat. But a discharge should knock you out. Yep. Easy one hit kill just for the little extra experience. Why not? We'll take it. We'll take it. And okay, so we definitely need to heal Toxtricity. Also, Kaparaja got paralyzed, which is heckin' annoying. But we have one super potion left. We'll just give that to you. That should be good enough. Nice. And let's use a full heal on Dumbo. Get rid of that para. And I'm wondering if there's going to be... No, there's probably no, but nobody that heals us anytime soon. But we'll just keep on truck trucking along here. There is some Pelipers. We haven't seen any Pelipers yet. There's three of them. There's also a max potion. Let's see what else we can find in the grass here. So uh, we got ourselves... Ooh, it's one of these things. Cramorant. Which is a very interesting Pokemon. I might even might even attack you too. At level 39, I feel like we could probably use just a little bit of grinding. Drill peck me right in the neck, which freaking hurts. And I accidentally used Nuzzle because I mash A way too quickly, but it's fine because we're going to get the para and then we'll be able to outspeed and then hey, we're just saving PP for discharge because I feel like it's going to be a long route. There's likely going to be some, some shenanigans that go on here. So I assume we're not just going to go right to the next city and then battle the next gym, but you never know in this game. The pacing kind of seems a little bit off, but down goes the Cramorant. We almost grow a level. And we shall continue. This Pelipper is just chilling in a triangle. Okay, so... Hello there. You just standing here by yourself? My Pokemon are all pumped up from dancing with me. Hey, this is the dancer lady that was in the, the hotel room, maybe? Or I guess they're all the same. Dancer Zoe has a Darumaka Knight. I want one of these damn things so badly. Look at Galarian Darumaka. He is amazing. So, uh, level 39. We're just going to give you a discharge. Not really too afraid of Darumakas. If you had a Darmanitan, that's when we're a little bit afraid. Galarian Darmanitan is a monster. It has an ability that basically gives it a, a, a built-in choice band, which is insane. Barry wants to learn Overdrive. What do we got here? I said Barry is Barney. Um, so Overdrive at 80 base power special attacking electric move. Attacks the opposing Pokemon by twanging a, a guitar or bass guitar, causing a huge echo and strong vibration. That's got to be a sound based move for sure. So that is awesome. That's just a different effect than Discharge. It's going to be able to do more damage though, which is great. We're gonna, still going to keep Nuzzle. Um, I might just get rid of Toxic, honestly. Although I don't really need to keep Poison Jab. It's at least a Poison move. You know, let's get rid of Toxic. We can always teach that back later if we need it. But I'm excited to see this. It sounds like it's a it's a signature move or something. We get hurt by some hail. Next is a Belossum. So we're going to stay in, and now we actually might as well even just use Poison Jab. <laughs> Funnily enough, we're just going to go ahead and Poison Jab you. Not much of a physical attacker, but it is super effective. So that is going to knock your ass out in one hit. Love to see it. See you later, Blossom. We have seen Oddishes, so we assumed Blossom had made it. We also get a Sunstone, so... No, he's been defeated. It's actually fitting that you have a Blossom. I think a little, little dancer, a little hula guy. All right. Continuing. We could switch up the lead here, but I do want to see what Barney... How we're working with that new move. Okay, so we have Sir Chester Bay. And we can't do anything on the water. We can't hop on these icebergs either. And of course... There's some Team Yell stuff going on. What, what are y'all doing? There's no way we're letting you anywhere near Spike Myth. That means we can't let you go on Route 9. It's Team Yell's duty to cheer on these lovely Dreadnought. And we also get to stop people from heading out of the um, over the water. What? This doctor guy looks depressed. Yes, I understand. All I'm saying is that we can make it so that Rotom Bikes can ride on water. Oh, finally, we're going to be able to get the update for our freaking bike. I gave you that bike. So, do you think you could do me another favor and teach these Rufians? A lesson or two? 
Uh, sure. So, we gotta battle these Team Yell people. And then, I'm assuming, it, this guy's just gonna upgrade our bike and then we'll be able to just ride across the water, which is cool. He's holding up her <laughs> Marnie poster. So, there's the Lanoon. And now, all of a sudden, we're battling on an island, which... On islands. So, let's go for an overdrive and see... See what we're working with here. Strum our guitar, which is like our chest. And that is a dead-ass Lanoon. So, sound-based move, we do get a boost in damage because of our ability. Love to see it. Get hurt by some hail, of course. Next is a Pangoro. So, for Pangoro, we could just go into... Right into Chiding, we'll give you a nice little brick break. A decent counter to Pangoro. I feel like we haven't battled a lot of the female Team Yell people. Uh, but we'll just go for the Brick Break. We could go for the first impression. Doesn't really matter because we're going to go first either way. Brick Break no knocks the OS out. So we are actually... We're doing pretty swell here in terms of levels. We could probably just take on the next gym straight away. We only have two gyms left. Which is interesting. Team Yell Grunt has been defeated. We probably have to battle the other guy too. But that is fine. He's going to ride the Dreadnought. What? Boy, I've got an idea. We can get on Dreadnought first and ride it away. All right, get a move on Dreadnought. See you later, Jim Challenger. No, they're out of here. So, who's gonna ride the freaking Dreadnought? Team Yell is a, a very interesting team. At least the one good thing about them is they're not like overly obnoxious. They're not all over the place, you know. Seems you've come to my aid yet again. How's the cycling life been treating you? Are you having fun? Wouldn't it be great if you could ride your rodent bike on the water too? So I'm going to add these special parts, allowing it to travel along the water surface just for you. Wow, what a nice guy. I don't know why you're a doctor. You seem like a bike expert, but... Uh, so, combined with the Pokemon Rotom, not only do a turbo boost, but also run on the water. With the Rotom Bike Water Mode, you can cruise across the water like a Pokemon with Swift Swim. By the by, when you're riding on land, we call it Land Mode. Well, cool. So, let's see. What the heck is that thing? Ooh, we just ride straight onto the water. And is that like a whale? It's a whalemer. I was like, oh, Jesus. Mantag just straight jumping at me. Yo, this is a super cool route, too. Um, we have an interesting looking Mon right there. And... I guess we're just going to go right for it. What are you? Ooh. Grappelocked. It's a freaking fighting octopus. I love it. Yo, this thing is sick. Why have I never... Oh, my God. It's level 50, too. What? We're gonna go for an overdrive. I would like to catch you, but we'll see if this. I don't think this will kill. Okay, so it's just neutral, as now it goes for an Octolock, which uh, I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. <laughs> but we'll give you a nuzzle now, get it a little para. Uh, but you have to be careful, though, because of the hail. This thing is a little bit more difficult to catch due to the fact that the hail's here. Uh, we'll go for a nuzzle. This thing must be just a pure water, or a pure fighting type, I mean. Uh, so Nuzzle's not going to do much. And wait, did we not get the para? This thing must have like Limber or something. Shit. Uh-oh. This is not good because now the hail's going to kill us. Why didn't I get the Paralyze? Well, we're definitely going to use next Pokemon. We got to... We got to catch this thing. Let's just go into Dexter. And I suppose we can just huck some Ultra Balls. In like two turns, this thing will be in red from the hail. So we're only going to have a couple chances anyway, but... I would like to have you, Grappelocked. It's time to let my Ultra Balls do their thing. Damn it, not even a single shake. It's gonna go for a Topsy Turvy, which is, I thought, Malamar's signature move, but apparently. This other Squiddy Boy can do it. Actually, an Octopus, but you know, same freaking thing. Obviously not, but you know what I mean. Damn it, we can't even get a shake, wow. We literally only have like one try left. Superpower hurts quite a bit. Luckily though, its attack is just slowly dropping, so. We might have to come back and try to catch this thing another time. I don't know if there's more of them around here or, or what. How, to, how does this thing work? Why are you like a static encounter just chilling in your own little cove there? Come on, Ultra Ball. I'm feeling it on this one. This is the lucky ball right here. Nope, it's still not even a shake. What the f What's going on here? Now it's gonna Octolock me again. Your boy is locked in. No longer escape. Alright, so here's the hail. Is it gonna kill him? I don't think it is. Nope, not quite. Alright. 
please. I really like this thing. I want it. What the hell? Why are you so impossible to catch? Now it's going to topsy-turvy, which uh, turns this upside down, and our stat changes are reversed. Thank you for that. And is this hail going to kill it? Oh, it knocks it down to like 1 HP. There is a chance. So you're saying there is a chance. Come on, Ultra Ball, please. It would be nice if I could have put this thing to sleep at some point or something. Oh my god, we never got a single shake? Are you serious? What is going on here? The hail's going to kill it. Dude. That is annoying. Well, Octolock. The one that got away. That's, that's a damn bummer. Levels all around, though. Since it was level 50, that would have been a great Pokemon to add to the team. But, heck. <laughs> hate to see it. Well, so we need to heal up here. Everybody is looking pretty beat up from that damn octopus. You ever just get your ass beat by an octopus? We're just going to max revive Barney. And we should hyper potion. Uh, we'll give one to Dexter's in case we need you. That's fine for now. Okay. So, continuing is a big pearl right there, which we can sell for a bunch of money. Freaking Mantikes all over the damn place. Which is actually really cool. Okay, so we have the trainer there. Was there, an, was there a different way I could go to the left? I want to make sure that I check out all of the all the spots. Heck, in Whalmers. I think this is just an open pond area. Oh, no, there's a whole new area over here to the left. Oh, this Mantike just landed on me. <laughs> Get out of my way, little guy. Could have Barney beat the shit out of this thing, but I think we're gonna not. We will spare you, little buddy. You're four time weak to electric, but just whalemers all over the place. This is actually a large route. Bigger than I thought. There's a karate guy over here. Might as well battle you. Oh, I just clicked somewhere and got a black belt. Looks cool. It's a hold item that boosts the power of fighting moves, so that's kind of sweet. This guy dropped his black belt, we just stole it. <laughs> Carter here has a grapple locked. Okay. Another one, huh? Where did you get this thing, sir? Well, this one's only level 41, so we're gonna have a much easier time with you. Do you only get one chance with that level 51? Because I freaking blew it, man. Didn't even get a shake. I can't I can't believe it. It feels like uncatchable. Well, that thing goes down. And Carter has been defeated, so we'll take you just for your money. Thank you. I like how there's no, it's like seamless riding straight from the land uh, to the water. Got ourselves three dive balls right there. Also, what the hell are you people doing chilling out here in your bathing suits? It's fucking snowing. What do you think about my secret beach? It's, small, it's a small mysterious paradise located on a very cool ocean. You come all the way here, so I'll give you a present. And we get TM45 for dive, which is kind of cool. Pokemon won't be hit by attacks while it's diving underwater. I'm aware of how it works. Thank you for that, though. Also, what do you say? It certainly is a beach, but it's just too cold. Yeah, you guys are freaking white people, man. Crazy. I thought I saw something move there, but apparently not. So. Whoa, whoa. Man tags everywhere. Can I go on this land? I sure can. We got another, uh, another karate guy. Why well, all the karate people out here? It looks way too cold to be wearing your damn karate outfit. Black Belt Reese here. He's got a sock. So, no octopus for this guy. Which is fine. Barney can uh, do my guitar thing on you. We resist fighting, which is great. It's a level 41. He does have two Pokemon. It would be cool if we learned Overheat as well. Ooh, it's going to counter, but that's going to fail because we hit you with a special attack. Haha, you absolute buffoon. Getting hurt by some hail. We're just going to finish you with a nuzzle just so we can save overdrives. So now you're going to bulk up. What? Why do people do that? Why do you boost your stats when you know you literally can only take one more attack? I don't... I do not understand. But that's a dead sock. I'm assuming your next one is a throw. Just, just going to call it. Barney grows to 45. Hurt by a little bit more hail. And it is a throw. So he's got the, he's got the little, little combo, which is cool. Um, let's just go into... We don't have much for fighting types anymore ever since we got rid of Corviknight. But I believe we can still manage. I don't know what the last two typings are. I'm assuming the last gym is going to be that dragon one. Which is kind of good that we're starting to train up our ice type boy now. But 
We're just gonna brick break this throw a couple times, assuming it'll be a two-hit KO. Smack ya. Easy two-hit kill, especially with the crit. Ooh, revenge though should hurt quite a bit. Yeah, negative priority is the only reason why I didn't teach revenge to Surfetched, but it is a good fighting move. At least I'm pretty sure it has negative priority. It has to. Alright, down goes the throw. Lots of trainers on this ride. They're trying to beef up, beef up our levels a little bit. They always look so sad when you beat them. Alright, so we have a little camp here. Police officer camp. Rumor has it that there's a camping king somewhere in the wild area. Changes color of the tents and rates your curry decks. Feel free to stay at my camp. Would you like to pay them a visit? Sure. Let's see if they have any Pokemon out here or anything. They do. They got a Riolu, a uh, Gothitelle, a freaking Arcanine, Lucario, Yamper Evolution. Nice. You know, we should probably make some curry. Also, not only that it heals us, but what we can do is I think it'll also... It'll also boost our friendliness too, so maybe it'll evolve us a little bit quicker. Let's go for an orange berry, a classic one. Got to go, got to toss an orange in there. there. Cherry berry, we'll do a pecha. I don't have any other ingredients. A honeydew berry, that sounds like that could be damn delicious. And uh, we'll do a persim. I feel like the more we use, the better it turns out. So palm egg too. Should we just do? We might as well fill the whole slot. Let's actually do two citrus berries. All right. Let's start cooking. Let's see. Let's see what we can get ourselves here. We're just gonna mash a this Growlithe. Why are we feeding this guy's Pokemon, man? These are my hard-earned ingredients. Okay, I had to fight off fucking squirrels for these berries. Yeah, it looks like I think that guy actually tossed in that spice, so he's actually fanning with us. Can you do this with people online? I'm sure you can. It's interesting. There's so many different combinations for curries. I'm wondering how many like what are, what are the maximum benefits you can get from this stuff? The fire do fire fire doggos are loving it. And the flames are looking pretty fanned about now, so we're going to give you a nice little stirry stir. Other guy is stirring at the same time. Look at that teamwork. He's going a little slow, but, you know, we'll, we'll take it. Maybe we're supposed to be going a little slower. We just go for as long as it freaking tells us. Alright. So, now we put our heart into it. We both put our hearts into it. <laughs> this curry better be extra good. I don't, I've never done it before where you're cooking with somebody else. So this is pretty cool. We are done. This does take a little bit more time than I would hope, but it is time to see how spicy seasoned curry, which actually looks delicious. What do you think, Toxicity? Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at me, I play my little air guitar. It's not even eating anything, what the hell. Kaparaja class, so we have done that one before, which is a bummer, but we're gonna leave. And well, I guess, do we get to see yeah, so we enjoyed camping, gained some experience. Chidin goes to 45. Ooh, wants to learn Swords Dance, which is not too bad. Let's get rid of Iron Defense. Swords Dance is going to be able to double our attack, and Chidin is about to be a freaking problem. It didn't say we got any more friendly to us. That, that's annoying. Thought we would have. There's a hidden item over here, which is a rare candy. Nice. There's also an item that way, which we need to go get. Did not see that the first time. Oh. It's another one of those octopus things. I was like, what the hell is that? It looked like a Piplup or something at first. But there's a max revive there. We'll have to come back and get one of those octopuses. I don't want to spend time freaking catching one now, but... If it turns out that they're super useful, I guess we might as well. We have ourselves... A little baby Toxapex thing. There's also an Octillery just chilling in the grass, so they're not only just in the water. And we also got ourselves a Never Melt Ice, which is... Uh, it does increase the power of ice type moves as a whole item. Whether it's fishing or Pokemon battles, type matchups are important. Very importante. So, Marina here. Perfect name for a, f <laughs> a fisher. Fisherwoman. You got a ball in, switching a ball in real quick, my boy. I really wish they would have gave Quillfish a Galarian form or, or an evolution in this game. That would have been amazing. I'm gonna hit us with a poison jab. Gonna do next to nothing. And now, you're about to hear the sound of my sweet tunes. So, absolutely destroy our good friend Balin. Heard by some hail. What else you got for me? Hapuku Muku. 
Nice, so, I mean, we might as well just leave Toxicity in front. It seems to be working out for us pretty well so far. Level 40 Pukumuku. We have not seen one of these things yet, so good to know that Pukumuku's here. Even though it's a Pokemon that I'd never really end up using. It does hit us with the innards out, which actually, I completely forgot about it, does half the damage that you did to it the previous turn when you knocked it out, or something like that. It's quite an interesting ability. Innards out. Kind of gross, but what the hell is this thing? Clobopus. I thought it was like a shiny one of those freaking octopus. Nice. So we could actually probably catch this freaking thing. Let's go for a nuzzle. Barney's probably going to die. Can we paralyze you? Let's see. We're doing some scouting. Does not get the para. So now we're going to get taunted. Well, damn. So if we can't get one of the real octopus guys, we're going to get the little baby for him. How about that? Um, I'm afraid to weaken you any further. I guess I could just go for one more nuzzle, and then... I'm afraid everything else is going to freaking kill you. Poison Jab might not. We're just going to nuzzle you again, just to get you down about to half after this next hail as it bulk ups. We are going to die to this hail damage, which is dumb. I really should have healed there, but it's fine. I got hella revives. We should be good. So, little Clobopus. I like this thing's colors. Got little boxing gloves on. I freaking love this thing. Alright. Use next Pokemon. We will go into... Should ding for this thing. Let's see if we can wrangle us an octopus. Time to see if these Ultra Balls work. The last ones were freaking duds, man. I guess I could be using other balls than Ultra Balls, but seems like our best bet. Which it definitely is. Yes. Alright, nice. Well, we got this guy first try. Which is amazing. Little Calabapus. <laughs> Interesting name you got there, too. Well then, it is a pure fighting type, it's very curious, but its means of investigating things is to try to punch them with its tentacles. Uh, this, the search for food is what brings it on to land. Interesting. Uh, so we are going to give you a nickname. What is the name of the octopus in Finding Nemo? That's actually a squid, hold up. Pearl is a pink flapjack octopus. We're naming we're naming you Pearl. Because you made me ink. He actually was an octopus. Yep, for sure. You are now Pearl. <laughs> now, are we going to send you to the box? I don't really feel like using you quite yet. Maybe we'll switch out with Surfetch at some point. You know, who knows? I kind of hate to do it, but... It could be done. Let us go for a little revive here. I have five regular ones left. Barney, you're still level, th level 45, so we could still keep you in front, I suppose. I could have just used a Max Revive. Now that I think about it, now I'm just wasting a Hyper Potion, but it's fine. Everything here is fine. Mind your damn business. All right. So, got another trainer right here. Just trainers everywhere. Why are you chilling out here with no shirt and swim trunks, sir? It is snowing. I'm not sure if you've realized, Jacob. Also, why are you smelling your Pokeball? You have a Cloyster. Very nice. So we have not seen a Cloyster yet, either. Yeah, that is a super cool Gen 1 Mon that made it. I'm very surprised that they got rid of as many Gen 1 Pokemon that they did, to be honest. I thought I thought Pokemon was uh, going to appeal to gonna appeal to the damn... Oh, I accidentally just clicked something on my computer, which you probably heard on the desktop audio. And if you didn't, that's good. <laughs> but free my boy Slowpoke. They brought back Cloyster, but no Slowpoke. How could you do my mans like that? Alright, Cloyster has no special defense, so you are dead. experience all around and that's all Jacob's got for us go put on some clothes sir you're gonna get damn hypothermia up in this bitch there's another club of, there's another uh oh oh god these uh oh these whelmers are freaking they've trapped me oh Jesus trying to avoid the octopus <laughs> protector protective item of some sort extremely stiff and heavy it's loved by a certain Pokemon interesting I have no idea what that's even for but that's kind of cool well then, it looks like we're supposed to head up and then to that big ol' island there. This is a pretty large route. I like this. Oh, there's also a hidden item right here. Whoa! Mantine! Holy shit, it's about to fuck. Moments before death is the last thing you see. We got a pearl string. 
Very large pearls that sparkle in a pretty silver color that can be sold at a high price. And the second I hit A, this Mantine just straight up attacked me. How could you do that to me, Mantine? It's not very nice of you. Level 42. It's super cool that on every route you can catch something that can just be added right to your team, essentially. Is there another hidden item right here? Did I see something sparkle? I did. It is an Ice Stone. Nice. Well. It seems that we are back exactly where we started. I just went in like the biggest loop ever. I'm trying to thoroughly explore this area because it seems like there's some cool shit for us. Like, can I not go even farther right? I thought I saw... How can I not get over there? Literally cannot get over there. Maybe we go just continue down this way. Ooh, this lady's on the search. Another octopus thing. Is there any, any hidden items over here? I don't see any sparkles. What do we got over here? Another trainer. What's up, buddy? I finished all my warm-ups, okay? Let's battle with everything we've got. Finished all your warm-ups, huh? Well, I freaking hope so, since you're out here nippleless with no shirt on. This guy froze his nips off, man. <laughs> he has a wishy-washy. We're just out here absolutely freaking zapping the shit out of everything, because everything is a water type. He's now going to school. And you can catch this overdrive. So many trainers on this route, it really makes you think that the level is going to increase at the next gym, but... We haven't seen much of a difficult kind of level jump. I don't think, at least. Heard by the hail, of course. You're just going to stay in? Did I say Waylord? It sure did. This guy has a freaking Waylord, which is tiny. This guy is way bigger than that Waylord. Wow. That is the one thing about Pokemon games that they do terribly. Is they, they don't show the size of Waylord, man. What the hell? That thing is supposed to be like fucking the size of a skyscraper. That guy's like twice the size of it. Maybe he just had the smallest Waylord ever. I got tired from all the warm-ups. Yeah, you sure did, buddy. You go take your tiny Waylord elsewhere. Okay. Uh, another beach over here where there's actually a TM, so this is useful. Uh, if I could ever click on it. It's TM22 for Rock Slide, so that is actually finally a good TM. Very nice. I'm sure I would have missed that if I just decided to rush through this place, but... I wanted to get on that damn iceberg. What was that? I swear I saw something different over there. Maybe not. Well... Another little island here, and yep, it's these people. So, yep, I've literally... <laughs> Kind of gone in circles, but, you know, it's fine. I'm doing a thorough job, okay? Whoa, whoa. Get the heck out of here, man tyke. Oh, there's a hidden item right here. It's a pearl. Nice. We're going to have so much money. It's going to be unbelievable. Doing research to see if one day I can swim anywhere with my beloved Toxapex. Imagine stepping on a Toxapex. Ooh, swimmer Layla, what's going on? She got a... She, obviously, it's going to send out her Toxapex. Ooh, honestly, I really like the design of Toxapex. I've just really grown to hate it due to how this thing does in competitive. Super annoying. Also, what did that text just say? Did some different prompt just come up? I have no idea. But Toxapex don't got much special defense to be able to take special electric attacks, so you are dead. Barney grows to 46. And Layla, that's all you got for me. So at least we're really stocking up on money this episode. Kind of like in between gym episodes, we always have a section where we just go through a huge route. But here we are, Route 9. There is a Snover right there, which is cool. Right? And there's a Berg That's a Bergmite. Holy shit. Definitely just a Bergmite. Let's see what we can find in the, the wild here. It's a Lipard. Okay. Nothing too crazy. Should probably switch out Barney, who's been out here getting all the damn love this entire episode. But it's fine, because we love our little buddy. Of course we can't ever get away, because... These damn light parts are too quick, man. They just chase your ass down. But second time is a charm. So, let's switch up the lead here. We are going to go with Dumbo. We will put you in front. Okay. Probably some other cool stuff in this 
grass, but nothing else seems to be really coming out. Got ourselves a scope lens. Increases uh, critical hit chances, which is cool. Decent hold item. We'll see what we can run into here. Probably just another Lipard. Yep. Nope. JK. It's a Thiebel. So Thiebels and Lipards are probably pretty good friends. Can I run from you? I know Dumbo's slow as hell. Hey, we do get away. Nice. We ran from the thief. All right, so we got a trainer there over the left, but what is going on over here? This place looks sketchy. I can't enter Spike Myth, so I've been hanging out. i just been hanging around here this whole time. No one can challenge the dark type leader like this. What's with the gate being shut? How am I supposed to get to the gym badge now? Well, the gate is shut. Oh, Marnie's chilling over there. What's up? What are you doing? Another one of them clobopuses right there. Look at him, he's so adorable. I love him. Okay, so we'll head through the grass, and Marnie is now gone. But no, JK, she's over here. But there was a hidden item where she was. It is three guard specs. Which is cool. Clobopus is everywhere. So apparently it's the dark gym next. I was born, I was born here. So you know in another way, if you want to go into the town, how about I show you the way? But you're my rival, so you'll have to beat me in a battle first. Got it? I'm going to say let me think about it, um, because I want to make sure I've checked out this whole area. I know there was a whole section to the left. Also, what the hell do we have over here? Oh, I accidentally ran into a damn Perserker, and these things are actually steel type, it turns out, I've come to realize, but we're just going to run from you. Thank you for being able to run, Kaparaja, I love you. Okay, wait, no, we can't go up there, it totally looks like an area we'd be able to go up, but we cannot. So let's go over here to the left. I'm assuming there's not much over here for us, but we will at least check it out. There is a berry tree and these two people. What are y'all doing? You rapping? Sing, dance. Let's make this a party hall. If I dance, I shine. My Pokemon shines brighter too. Cool. Well, we got a singer and a dancer. Nice little double battle here. A Rakdis and a Toxtricity. So that's the first uh, opposing Toxtricity we found. So that's kind of cool. Um, so Barney's kind of hurting. We could go... I would like to bulldoze. It's just going to hurt everybody, which is a bummer. So we're going to actually heavy slam on the Maractus. And then we will have Barney switch out of here because Toxtricity is kind of a threat. Let's go into Nuggets. Yeah, Nuggets a good idea. So at least we'll be able to get a heavy slam on the Maractus. Look at that HP. It's gonna go for a shockwave. Alright, which does hurt both of us. Or no, actually just one of us, just kidding. Gets a Giga Drain off on Dumbo. How could you do that? Alright, so here's the Heavy Slam. That right there's a super dead Maractus. Now it's just me and you, Toxtricity. Dumbo goes to 46, Nugget 45. Wants to learn Heat Crash. What is that? User slams the target with its flame-covered body. The more the user outweighs the target, the greater the move's power. Very interesting. Let's get rid of ancient power. We're not going to use special attacks. Yeah, assuming we're pretty damn heavy, so that move's going to be nice. And Dexter46 wants to learn the move Soak. We are going to keep old moves. Soak just basically turns the opposing Pokemon into a water type, so... Now we can just go ahead and... For one, just heavy slam, and then two, we're gonna rock blast you. Ain't no way you're taking that toxicity. It is faster though, so it's able to get off a shockwave. Just ganging up on my boy Copperaja, which is fine. Rock blast is gonna need to hit five times. Come on. Yes! <laughs> That's like the first time it's actually ever worked out and hit the exact amount of times we needed. Perfect. So. Music crew has been defeated. Probably a good thing that we came and battled you. I don't know if there's much else for us to do here to the left, but there is a berry tree. So we'll shake this bad boy a couple times. I don't know if it's completely random or if it's predetermined on every on everything. We're gonna we to keep on shaking. One more time, how about that? Alright. Stop and walk oh, uh oh. I accidentally hit A, but it actually worked out perfectly. Because now there's ten berries on the ground, we're gonna quit. And that is a great haul. Check us out. We just got ourselves 10 freaking berries. We got, I noticed we got some lumberries too, which is super nice. 
Uh, so if we head this way, it actually is just going to take us to the Route 9 tunnel, but I don't think we want to do anything here. I think we want to head back to Marnie. She's been waiting for us to battle, so we should probably should probably heal and have ourselves an interesting little Marnie battle, which is fun. Hyper Potion for you, and I think we'll be okay. She actually has, has a bunch of dark types, so... Surfetch is probably going to be helpful. Whoa, holy shit, Jellicent, you scared the shit out of me. I got just a very large Pringles man right there. All right. So, we are the rival, so it is time. Oh, uh oh. She got her fanboys here, too. Had a pretty good streak, good win streak in the gym challenge. Just like me, I respect you as my rival and all that. But I got too much at stake to go around losing now. All right, so. Our goth girlfriend here has four Pokemon, lead with a Lipard. Okay. So, this is not too bad for us. Dumbo should be able to do a lot to this thing. I'm po I've powered up a whole lot. Gonna beat you, gonna beat you lot into the ground. Hmm. We shall see. We haven't used Iron Head yet, so let's go ahead and check that out. It's gonna Torment, which is ridiculous. I think I actually have used Torment in a Wi-Fi battle like once in Gen 4. I'm pretty sure it was on a Dodrio. <laughs> but down goes the live part. Next is a Scrafty, so we're going to need to switch the hell out of here. And we're going to Jading. So Surfetched has a good matchup against Scrafty. It's a pretty, pretty fitting Pokemon for you to have. We actually haven't seen a Scrafty yet. We've only seen Scraggy, so a little boy holding his pants up. And let's see how you like a Brick Brick. Ooh. I think just naturally lived with one HP? What the hell? Goes for a scary face, and that is going to make us slower, so <laughs> that's annoying. Should have gone for a first impression, but actually, here's a hyper potion. Let's see if we get more damage on this one. Or just a crit. Wow, yeah, it just knocks it right down to one. That is annoying. More scary faces. <laughs> we have a speed stat of like 10 right now, so we would get outsped by literally anything. But that's a dead Scrafty. Two down. Now we get the critical hit. Why is it always, always the time you don't freaking need the crit, man? Okay. Next is a Toxic Croak. We are going to switch out on that. Let's go into Dumbo. We can hit it with a ground move. We don't have to... I mean, I don't think it'll be able to kill us in one hit with a whatever type of fighting move it might have, but I guess we're going to text tra <laughs> test it out. All right, 42 Toxic Rope. Catch a Bulldoze. It's actually just going to Sucker Punch, which is fine. So, neutral hit. We've taken that. And so it does actually take the Bulldoze. Kind of thought that was going to knock you out. Now it's going to Swagger, which is actually not good. If we hit ourselves in confusion here, we're going to have a bad time. Please. Damn it. I was going to say, I think that's the first time that I've hit myself in confusion. It's going to go for another sucker punch here. If we hit ourselves this time, we're going to be in trouble. Actually, we snap out. So now we just reap the benefits of the swagger, where we just get the boost in attack, which is great. But that's a dead croak. And what do we have? One left. Next is a more Pico. All right, so her little more Pico, of course. We're just going to stay in here because we have that attack boost. I don't know if more Pico has anything that it can knock us out with. But just a little dark type Pikachu. We are going to go for... Oh wait, it's a dark electric, obviously. Here's a special move that I've been saving for just an occasion. Just such an occasion. It's going to go for a spark. That was the move you've been saving for a special occasion. Really? Nice. Well, <laughs> Bulldoze is going to destroy your imposter Pikachu. And Marnie has been defeated yet again. Get 6 0 bitch. You suck. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings, Marnie. What's with that? My Pokemon didn't get a chance to really do their thing at all. Ugh. Get $5,000. Thank you very much. My partner, Morpico, has been interested in you and your strength, I think. I get it now. But I've got everyone in Spike Mouth supporting me. I said Mouth, Spike Mouth. Definitely going to get all eight gym badges so, just so I can have a rematch with you. Don't you forget it. I'll get my revenge in the Champion Cup. Anyway, I promised I'd show you a way in, so follow me. So she knows uh, she knows the secret route in. Those other dummies are over there. 
waiting at the garage door that's closed, but we get escorted by our uh, our girlfriend Marnie. <laughs> just kidding, she's just a rival. This place is looking pretty crazy. Nice little ghetto town. I actually kind of like it though. It's very fitting for a dark type gym, I suppose. So we are gonna get nice and healed. And it's looking like Surfetched is going to come in clutch here, just because there's going to be a lot of dark types. We can basically brick break everything, and hopefully we could get our our little friend to evolve at some point. So guys, we are going to end the episode here. Next time we're going to explore around the new city. Always a fun time, and hopefully take on the gym. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button on the video if you enjoyed it. It really helps me out, especially if you stay through the entire thing. I appreciate you. Peace out.